So we are discussing the earthing of installation. Earthing means it is a connecting the framework of the appliance to the general mass of earth with the conducting material of very low resistance, it is known as earthing. It is a process of connecting non-current carrying framework of the appliance basically or neutral of the supply to the earth, it is known as earthing. The purpose of the earthing is to ensure that all the parts of the system other than the live parts are maintained at the zero potential. The main objective of earthing is to provide the safety of operation, to avoid shocks to a living body, to save the conductor material, to protect the high-rise buildings from the atmospheric lightning. When you are discussing the methods of earthing, normally we are focusing on the two types of earthing scheme. One is known as plate earthing method and the pipe earthing method. The important terminology which is used in the earthing scheme is the earthing electrode. The material used for the earth electrode, it may be a GI pipe or it may be taken as the copper material. Normally it is known as earth electrode. For effective earthing, we have to make the resistance offered by the earth electrode along with the soil which is soil in which uh, electrode is embedded should be quite low. So normally we will use a uh, GI galvanized iron material or copper it is used to make the earth electrode. Copper even though it is uh, too costly it has got the two advantages. The first one is it is least affected by moisture and it is not easily rusted. Furthermore I to increase the conductivity of the soil around the earth electrode we are going to keep alternative layers of salt and charcoal which is filled and the thickness of the salt layer it is 30 mm and the charcoal layer it is 80 mm and earth electrode should be kept uh, at least 2 meters from the ground level and uh, basically the earth electrode should be kept uh, around 60 centimeters from the foundation of any building for the safety reason and uh, if you are going with the earthing system, with the plate earthing or pipe earthing scheme, if you are going with the same electrode size, pipe earthing scheme it is going to give the, basically the, it can suppress the leakage current at the faster rate and it can handle the larger leakage current than the plate of the same size and uh, to demonstrate the earthing scheme, we are going to use particularly for the power load appliances such as iron or maybe an electrical heater or a geyser load or a washing machine or maybe a refrigerator load. We are going to use the three pin plug which is incorporated with the three insulated wires. Electrical heater coil it is connected between red and the black terminal, red indicates the line terminal and the black indicates insulated wire, it indicates the neutral terminal and the insulated, uh, the third conducting wire, it is known as earth wire. Now, motor winding or maybe if you take the heater coil, it will be connected between line and neutral terminal of the wires and the framework of the heater coil or surface of the, uh, basically the any appliance, which is connected to the ground wire which is interconnected to the three pin socket. Just I will plug the three pin plug to a three pin socket and uh, I will make the connection like this. Phase terminal which will be going to feed uh, basically between phase and neutral I am able to get 230 volt supply and uh, this is known as the ground wire which is normally inserted to the third socket pin. The voltage availability for the proper grounded system between phase and neutral it is 230, between phase and ground it is also 230. Now the third socket pin which is known as ground pin which is connected to the earth electrode. In case of any leakage current 
the third socket pin which is drives the leakage current and leakage current can be suppressed quickly because resistance offered by the earth electrode it is very small and if you are going for the plate earthing scheme we are going to use the copper plate or GI plate this is known as uh, basically a pipe earthing scheme and in the plate earthing scheme the dimension of the plate it is 60 centimeter into 60 centimeter into 3.18 for the copper plate and uh, when you are going for the pipe earthing scheme or if you are using the GI plate the plate dimension will be 60 centimeter into 60 centimeter into 6.35 mm and uh, finally the aim of earthing is to suppress the leakage current thereby you are providing the protection for the operator protection for the equipment and even you are saving the conductor material so, I think uh, this is all about uh, earthing of installations this is a demo experiment